All right, Shalom Akim. All praises, honor, and glory goes to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahushai, Bahashem, Rakakwadash. Double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Uh, peace and blessings to you, fellow Akim, out there pushing out this word in true sincerity. I'm the brother Kanak. I'm Shamar. Yeah, so we, we got together in the spirit. We want to come to you in a real quick lesson. While we have time, you know, we were just talking. And, um, you know, I wanted to do this lesson. So the brother's here. And basically, I'm going to entitle the lesson, He That Is Holy. Uh, let him be holy still taken out of revelation the 22nd chapter and this is kind of like a response to um sakari uh sakari's video gms gms are um black identity extremists you know and they go on a rant they do their thing i watched a couple i watched a couple minutes of the video because they had they highlighted uh our our um our page san francisco barrier uh camp page and uh you know just real petty you know, uh, totally, you know, totally. And they're, they're on their own lane. They're doing what they're doing. They're doing what they were set up to do. All right. And they're and then and we know that we're set up to do what we're going to do. OK. And there are there's going to go back and forth, you know, because we are uh, set up as defenders of the gospel at the same time. OK. Uh, uh, you know, you, we're not going to be able to change these guys. OK. So the only back and forth that we go and do is and we'll bring out the scripture in Romans. Um, the 16th chapter about marking those who cause division. And you can definitely see that these guys are causing division. First and foremost, their leader learned and broke off from our group. So that should go and tell you the manner of person that those, those men are. Some might be sincere and some are teaching, um, are teaching for, uh, can you get that, get up Philippians one real quick, Philippians one and 15. <clears throat> Because you have some that are sincere and some that are not sincere. Go ahead. It's Philippians 1 and 15. Some indeed preach Yahweh Shai, even of envy and strife. You see that? Some preach Yahweh Shai, envy and strife. And we see other groups that are out there like that, that, are, that preach an envy and strife. They're not mm -hmm. totally sincere because they might be very uh, oral. They can speak very, very uh, um, charismatic. They have a, a, a very, um, what's it called? They have a very opening personality. A lot of people like them the way that they speak, the way that they put words together. All right, they're code of personality, you know? Cause people, cause you gotta understand, Jake has respect as a person's, okay? So you have men that teach Yahweh Shai of what? Read that again. Yeah. Some indeed preach Yahweh Shai even of envy and strife. Mm -hmm. And some also of goodwill. Some of goodwill. So you do have some men that teach of goodwill. Now here at Great Millstone, starting with our apostles on down, we teach of goodwill. We really believe this, you know, and we're telling you these things that are happening because the Most High set us up to be the prophets. Now you're going to have false prophets. You're going to have those that are going to teach outside of the uh, of our doctrine or teach the same thing, but they put their little mixture of what they want inside uh, the the um, the doctrine to appease the heart of uh, of, of Jake. All right, and, and over here we're not going to hold back anything. All right, we're going to tell you what it is. Okay, go ahead, keep going. The one preached Yahweh Shai of contention. And contention. And and why is there so much contention, right? Paul talks about in 1 Corinthians, the first chapter, that we all speak the same thing. All right, uh, you know what? Let me let me bring out a scripture because it talks about contention. All right. And there should be no contention, but we know the story that the Heavenly Father has set up. Uh, there will be contention. All right, especially on these groups outside of the great a great millstone. Um, let me see. This is uh Proverbs 13 and 10. Only by pride come of contention. Okay, so if there's contention, it's because pride is mingled up in there. Okay. And you can definitely see that those guys at Sakari, they're very proudful. Okay. You wanted to say something? Oh yeah, if you if you uh, been watching this, if you if you've been new about him, you know the Sakari, all right. He before he before all of that before he was a guerrilla Hebrew and everything else. Who was he under? You know, he was he was always trying to be up under the apostles, man, trying to get the knowledge, wisdom, and understanding from them. And then just like all these other guys do, just like out there in Chicago, y'all do the same thing. Y'all get the you come come and get the knowledge, wisdom, and understanding from the apostles, and then try to run off and act like you never learned anything from them. Right. But everybody that's been watching, if everybody the people that's been watching from day one, we all see you. You think that nobody saw you like just a couple years ago? You was all under the apostles saying like, oh, these are the apostles, they got the truth, this and that. You uplifting them, and then now look at you, what you're doing now. 
you you the complete opposite of what you used to be. So who changed? Did we change or you changed? And it's obvious that you did because we're still doing the same exact stuff that we've been doing from the apostles on down. Right. So it says Proverbs 13 and 10, only by pride come a contention, but with the well uh, advice is wisdom, you know, and that's over here um, at Great Millstone. There's an issue, especially when it comes to the doctrine. Because look, if, we're, if they're all speaking the same thing, right, we have nothing to say about anybody. OK, other than, hey, man, keep teaching. That's that's your uh, reasonable service. OK, but if, as soon as you start uh, adding and taking away things and perverting the doctrine, because that's basically what it is, which these guys are uh, wise in their own mind. Yeah. You, you, you hear about this. You, you know, the scripture where it talks about the novice, how they're puffed up because you can you can get puffed up in this in this thing because you can get women. You can get recognition. You know, you can you can get you can get kind of uh, on, on a level of fame. OK, you can eat. You can eat off Jake uh, simplicity because all you have to do is what uh, teach uh, or, or preach to Jake with smooth words. I got to preach that real quick. This is. Um, all right. This is first Timothy three and six. <clears throat> uh, not a novice, mm -hmm. at least being lifted up with pride. Yeah, novice. Least big being lifted up with pride. There's hey, the most high uh, hates pride. He hates that powerful look. Okay, because anything that you have gotten, you have to um, you have to take the low. Really, when you become on a higher level, you you become more humble because you understand that the most high is the one who puts you in that situation. Okay, and it's not of your will because you did all these hours studying, or you were able to memorize this. You're able to. You're a history buff. Okay, you have a, 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 a dominant personality when it comes to speaking. OK, and people respect it. Nice. It's, it's because the Lord, he puts you on that level. All right. Go ahead. Now, the novice least being lifted up with pride, he fall into the condemnation of the devil. Yeah, the condemnation of the devil. And that's that's where a lot of these guys are. Um, that's the path that they're going to. All right. Even even because, look, the most high, he set them up. He said, everybody, you have to play their part. And, and this is part of the story. And like I said, the, the, the name of the video, he that is holy, let him be holy still, meaning separate, meaning uh, uh, sanctified, pure. Uh, us at Great Millstone, us that are teaching the true doctrine of Yahweh Bashamal Shai, we're supposed to stay holy. And we're supposed to leave those guys uh, pretty much alone outside of when it comes to the doctrine. Name calling, going back and forth. We can be petty. That's not that's not why we're here. We're here to be defenders of the gospel. OK, and, and as, as we can see. We have guys that are that are, that are sellouts that don't understand fully what this thing is about. All right, we're not uh, black extremists, okay? Uh, and and um, what we're teaching, we're teaching uh, spirituality, so to speak. We're teaching that this is a spiritual battle, and we're not we're not we don't adhere to Esau's labels. All right, you, is there more on that? No, I don't know. All right, yeah, can you go to Revelation twenty two now and start at uh, I believe nine? Yeah, and it will read down. Maybe get one more scripture, and we'll just wrap it up. We're not going to make it long, you know, because in that verse, it says he that is ignorant, let him be ignorant still. I believe so. <sighs> Revelation 22 and, and, and unjust. Nine. Go ahead. <clears throat> then said he unto me, see thou do it not, for I am thy fellow servant. And what was that? Nine? Yeah. Start at eight. All right. Verse eight. Revelation 22 and eight. And I done saw these things and heard them. And when I heard and seen. I fell down and worship before the feet of the angel, which showed me these things. Then said he unto me, See thou do it not, for I am thy fellow servant, and of thy brethren the prophets, and of them which keep the sayings of the of this book, worship the most high. And he saith unto me, Still not the sayings of the prophecy of this book, for the time is at hand. Yeah, so the, so basically the word all the word has gone out. All the all all the uh, interpretations of the Bible is, is gone out. It's out there. It's not sealed. Because but what back in the book of Daniel's, what did the Lord tell Daniel to seal the book? So now Yahweh Shai came, uh, Revelation the fifth chapter, and he broke the seals. Okay, so now we have the understanding. Go ahead. So that's why when there's uh, there's some type of contention, then somebody's wrong. Somebody has to be right. Somebody has to be wrong. Okay, go ahead. And you're going to soon find out. We're we're not. We're not going to try to make you believe because really, ultimately, the most high is the one that has to open up your mind. He has to open up your uh, your spiritual eye. OK, and he'll he'll lead you to the right group. He'll lead you to the, the right way, so to speak. Go ahead. He that is unjust, let him be unjust still. Say, he that is unjust, let him be unjust still. It's, it's, it's clear. It's clear night and day that they're going to teach what they're going to teach. OK, 
They're not they're not going to repent unless the Heavenly Father uh, 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 make them repent, that put hell on them, change up their mind. But as the, the current situation, the current uh, role that they're going, we see that we see where they're going. All right. Into condemnation, basically. OK, go ahead. And he which is filthy, let him be filthy. Yeah. So guys that are filthy, you want to you want to teach something different. We're going to tell you about it. We're going to, you know, tell you where you're wrong. OK. But outside of that, we, we ain't got time to go back and forth. We're not going to go back and forth with you. That's the basic. That's basically the time that we're in. We're not going back and forth with you because we have the truth. All right. You're wrong. Now, we're not saying that with pride. It's just that that's just the case. The most high, he set it up that way. Somebody has to have the truth now. There are going to be cases if a brother goes off in a scripture, say I go off in a scripture, I got to go back and I got to correct it. OK, I can't have pride in that. Or now you you did it wrong. The elders are wrong. That's that's a, uh, that's a disobedient child. So right then and there, you have to analyze that. You have to be like somebody got to be right. You're going to break away. And then now we're wrong. OK, here it is. Here's the master that taught you this martial art. He taught you everything, you know, now you, you know it all. You three, you three months in, you know it all now. That's basically what's happening. Okay, go ahead. <clears throat> and he, and he, with his filthy, which is filthy, let him be filthy. Yeah, still. let him be filthy st still, because your your garments are not clean. How do you clean? How are you clean with the garments? How, how is your garments clean by the blood of Yahweh? Shot mm -hmm. by by this word, by teaching the correct word. Okay, that's how you are cleansed. Now, if you do are doing something else, you got a spot on your garment. OK, and we see that these guys have spots and we what are we doing? Can you get a uh, Romans? You know, what? I'll get it, bro. Don't even worry. I'll get it. Romans. 16. And it's the same exact thing with these guys all the time. It's nothing new. You just live in all these guys are doing is just living out the, uh, the scriptures. The scriptures speak about that. Men come coming in, crept unawares. Guys that come in and, and departing from the faith. Taking heed to seducing doctrines, basically being workers of Satan. That's what you guys are doing, thinking that you're doing the right thing, but you really, you, you are doing the right thing, but you're doing the work of Satan. That's all it is. Yep, this is Romans 16 and 17. Now I beseech you, brethren, mark them which cause divisions and offenses contrary to the doctrine which ye have learned and avoid them. Oh, yeah, I was going to get that too. Okay, yeah, that's yeah, the spirit. Yeah. So, the, I mean, this is this is clear right here. This is talking about Sakari. So now I beseech you. And, and those who come in the spirit of Sakari. Mm -hmm. Okay, the most high didn't set Sakari up to be this the spiritual revolutionaries, okay? To take down the Romans or take down Esau, okay? No. That was a that was a, a, a group of Satan. All right. And and you see that it came to not. And when he was talking about Sakari, he was talking like he was actually back in the Roman Empire. Like we, he was talking plural, like we, okay, because he is actually. The same guys that were in the Roman Empire during that time, the Sakari, because everything is reincarnated. Yeah. So either you were reincarnated as a prophet, or you were reincarnated as Sakari, which was a which was a cardinal movement. Okay, and the scriptures talk about if if it be a if it be of men, the Most High is going to destroy it. Okay, Acts five. All right, it says mark them which cause divisions, which mean and have the skull pay on them. Okay, and the word mark there also means to observe, to watch. Okay. So we're watching these guys. Mark them which cause divisions and offenses contrary to the doctrine which ye have learned and avoid them. So we learn a certain doctrine from a, a certain group of men. All right. And if you break away with that, then that means you're teaching contrary to the doctrines. Who's right and who's wrong? You have to ask yourself that. And you got a lot of jakes that want to hear smooth words. That's why they follow these guys. OK, because they really ultimately it's because they pervert the doctrine. You got more liberty to do wickedness. Cause you're not fully you're not they don't they don't have the full they're not doing it the full all the way because they still they still allow you to do to to do to have uh ways of the world you know being upon you yep they mixing up the doctrine they're not telling you the full truth all right they uh perverting the doctrine and, and that's really the main reason that jake be attracted to it is because it is wickedness and that's what jake that's how you know it's not right because majority of our people they're not supposed to agree with the message how many mm -hmm. of our people didn't like the message and how many did? The masses of them didn't like the message. So right. you by you winning the people over and winning more favor among the people, that's just showing you that that's your wickedness. Because every if the people of the world liking you and speaking of you in a highly manner, man, you you are clearly wicked, man. I got a preset. This is a uh, second Timothy three one. 
This know also that in the last days perilous times shall come, for men shall be lovers of their own selves, covetous, boasters. And you, when you watch the video, highly boastful, okay? High, it says proud, highly proud. Yeah. Blasphemers, disobedient to parents. Who's your spiritual fathers? Yeah. Who's your, who are your spiritual parents? Okay. And you're doing exactly what a disobedient child would do, bucking up saying like, no, you're not right. You gotta do it. I want to do it this way, or like you know, just being hard headed, really, like a little kid would do, be to they um to their parents. Yep, disobedient to parents, unthankful, unholy. Mm -hmm. Okay, and and we say the scriptures say, excuse me, he that is holy and be unholy still. So you're unholy. So you have to be un. We're gonna leave you to be unholy still. That's basically what the lesson is centered around. Yeah, there 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 are gonna be dialogues between different groups. We understand that. Okay, but when it particularly comes to certain parts of the doctrine or any part of the doctrine, rather, that's when that's when there's an issue. That's when we're gonna we're gonna address it. But it's, we ain't going back and forth. It's not going. It's not. It's not a beef. Okay, all right. This is we're just we're we're giving you um our our uh not our opinion, but we're giving you our spiritual understanding of the matter out of the scriptures, man, not out of our own heart. All right, because if we were going off, then our positive elders will say something about it. Where, where's the standard? Who who taught you this truth? Who taught you this truth? And who are the ones that are teaching this truth and still teach? Are your teachers still teaching? They who? say the spirit taught them. See, but that that right there is disobedient and unthankful, like the scripture said. Yeah. Let me read that again. It says, For men shall be lovers of their own selves. And we see that. Covetous, boasters, proud, blasphemers, disobedient to parents, unthankful, unholy, without natural affection, truth breakers, false accusers, incontinent. Fierce despiser of those that are good. That's exactly what it is. You, you make the only time they the, the most the videos on their page that got the most hits are the videos with who? When they they're they're getting on us saying that we're not doing good. That's the only time y'all get. That's like the videos that got the most hits on anybody on any of these dudes' pages that's uh, speaking contrary to the doctrine that we teach. They they get the most views when they they mention GMS in the title. Out of doing doing that just because of what it's folly out of contention, mm -hmm. so you can it's an attention grabbing word, right? Right, it's, it's controversy, yeah. and you know, Jacob is controversial, you know, they uh, especially the, you know, it's clickbait, basically, yeah, yeah, basically clickbait, and you're getting butt hurt because some things were said about you for being carnal. Well, you are carnal, mm -hmm. okay, that hey, that's really what it is, but of course, you know, it's going to be a tax on characters. It's going to be, you know, you're able to, uh, you have an audience that already believes anything that you say. Yeah. So whatever you say, it's going, they're going to just take, they're, they're zombies. Okay. As long as it's anti-GMS, they're going to click on yeah, it. Exactly. It says, uh, having, uh, so like it, traders, he heady, high-minded, lovers of pleasures more than lovers of the most high, having a form of godliness, but denying the power thereof from then, from such turn away. You see? So we're supposed to turn away from these guys and expose these guys. We just read it, Romans 16. And seventeen, mark them that cause division, and how, and how are they bringing? How are they bringing uh, everybody to uh, Yahweh Shai? They have a form of, like I said, they have a form of godliness. They'll say Yahweh Shai, okay. They'll say this. They'll say that. Uh, you're Israelites. Yeah, they'll, they'll say all the right keywords. Okay, they know how to play on people's hearts, and that's that's basically Jay. We're gonna tell you straight up, man. Okay, but in the end, it's going to be it's going to be um, it's going to be revealed who the servants are. Okay. May manifest. It's gonna be manifest. Can we finish that in Revelation? Yep. This Revelation is twenty-two and eleven. He that is unjust, let him be unjust still, and he which is filthy, let him be filthy still, and he that is righteous, let him be righteous still, and he that is holy, let him be holy still. There you go. He that is holy, let him be holy still. He that is separated, he that has been uh, purified. Let him continue in those things. Let him teach the same things, and all the things that you have been taught from your from your um, from your uh, your teachers. You have to teach the same things, or what? You're not you're not uh, you're not clean. Can you read that the next verse? And behold, I come quickly, and my reward is with me mm -hmm. to every man according to according as his work shall be. Yeah. So your work is going to be uh, looked at, so to speak. You're gonna have a, a evaluation, a work evaluation, and if if you were if you were teaching things contrary to the doctrine, well then you're gonna get a bad you're gonna get bad marks. Ultimately, you're gonna be destroyed. Okay, 
So those who are teaching the correct things, you keep teaching the correct things. All right. He that is he that is holy, let him be holy still. And he that is uh, filthy, let him be filthy still. These guys are filthy. You can see spots all over, spiritual spots all over their garments. Okay. So we pray that you brothers will edify with this lesson. All right. We want to give all praise and honor and glory to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahushai, Bashem, Rakawadash. Double honors to our apostles and elders, a great millstone, and peace and blessings to you brothers out there pushing out this word. Till next time, I want to say shalom to the elect. Shalom.